I'll use the sketch pen to join them so that they are more easily available so I'll reuse a red one and then connect these points as well and of course the hidden line has to be shown up till here so the hidden line goes back across now again I will name them this is my C2 this is my B2 this is my A2 this is my D2 and somewhere here will be my G2 and of course I have this as O2 marking the points uh, with black so that they are visible extending the rays upwards upwards from this so I will be having our final figure here now from there where is C so C will be on this line where will be B and D that is this and B is here and D is here extending up to here, this line and finally A will be on this line which is this and of course O is on this line getting the point as this let's mark the points let's name the points O2 dash A2 dash B2 dash C2 dash D2 dash okay now if I if I just join them this is the base now there will be three lines visible and one hidden let's see the hidden line now this is what my final figure for this question will look like first we drew the basic uh, triangle uh, basic uh, pyramid that was there then we gave the first condition which was uh, that it is freely resting on one of its uh, corners accordingly we made this projection and then uh, the, th uh, the final condition in the question was that this vertical axis was making an angle of 45 degrees with respect to PP so we uh, made this angle as 45 degrees and we made this uh, uh, this exactly same uh, square pyramid was uh, made here and then we extended the projectors upwards from this uh, pyramid and extended the projectors this way from this condition so combine combination of these two conditions gave us the final figure which is a 3d figure inclined to both the axes as given in the question so let's move on to our third question now for today the third question for today is a cone diameter of base is 60 mm and uh, 70 mm ha has one of its generators in HP and making an angle of 45 degrees uh, with the VP draw the projection of the cone when first now uh, listen cl carefully and read carefully there are two conditions in this question the apex is towards the observer that is the first condition that is given and the second condition that is given is the apex is away from the observer so there will be a total of four steps uh, for solving this whole problem the two steps would be the similar one that we have followed up till now the third step would be third step would be divided into two that will be th there will be two third steps that th the third step would be two times first would be in which the apex is towards the observer and the second would be in apex uh, away from the observer so let's 
begin solving the problem so uh, it will be uh, more clearer to you that how uh, we'll be doing it for this uh, the uh, thing data that is given in the question is the cone has a base diameter of 60 mm and height is 70 mm uh, height which is given is 70 mm so first of all line xy now for remember for this question start drawing it uh, drawing the problem from extreme left hand side of the posi uh, of the page otherwise uh, you will fall short of the space that is available so i'll just move this a little bit uh, this side so you are visible this is x and this is y i will face no space on the paper so that uh, we have the whole problem which uh, we are able to solve on the single sheet of paper because there will be total of four steps which are there the first step is to draw the base circle in the top view for that it is given that my diameter is 60 mm so i'll take a radius of 3 uh, 3 sorry 60 mm so i'll like uh, 3 centimeters is my radius or 30 mm is my uh, this uh, radius i'll take my i'll take any point here first of all say this is the point that i've taken so that i know what my center is and then draw the circle oh this is the base circle now I need to make it dark uh, so that it is visible to you with the sketch pen done now it is visible now let's divide it into eight parts now as I I will be doing it directly but you should divide the circle using the arc method or the degree measuring the degree or of that sort okay so now I will name them. This is the center. The naming would go as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now remember, this is a cone. So these lines will actually uh, will not be visible. Just the tip will be visible, which I will be naming as. O. Now let's extend the projectors upwards. The height is given to me as 70 mm. So I will, the central axis will be extended up till 70 mm, which I am taking. I'll keep it at 8 and I will extend the line directly. And this is the axis actually. Now extending the other lines, other points which are being projected on. VP so the five points are these of course this will also be there so let's name these points first of all I'll mark the points marking the points is one of the most important things to do uh, in this because if once you have marked the point correctly then you half of your task is done this is g dash and c dash this is f dash a dash and this is e dash and of course this is o dash so now let's just make the end center the extreme ends will be connected the rest of the lines will not be visible i'm saying again because this is a cone and not a uh, this is a cone and not a pyramid if pyramid was there then this will be visible and this would be uh, the center line in this way 
okay so now it is lying on one of its generators as we did in the as we did before also uh, it will be lying on one of its generator that means this has to be replicated and kept it in this way that is o to e will be lying here and the rest of the things will be accumulated uh, all by itself so first let's mark o to e I'll take this point as E that as close as possible so that what's for our white space. So we will have to take another set of paper. Oh, no problem. take contrasting one this is my e1 dash and this is my o1 dash okay now again I'll uh, take the proximate angle and then head forward it is 65 degrees as usual Sixty-five degrees, a straight line, and then measuring a, which will be equal to the diameter of the base, and AC, which will be half of the diameter. So, marking these points as well. This is E, this, and this is G1 dash, C1 dash, and this is A1 dash. The other points also need to be marked, which is BH, sorry, AH, should be on both the sides. <sighs> Just connecting them. the center line oh. marking these points as well this is F dash and D dash and this is B dash H dash okay so dropping the projectors on the lines C is on this line so it come as this B and D are on B and D so B and D C is on this line C is on this line B and D and then comes the center one this is a and e h and f again on the two inner lines and finally g and this is o so we have these points I'll mark the points. This are uh, this is G1, this is F1, this is E1, this is D1, this is C1, B1, A1, and H1, and this is O1. I'll just connect the dots to have an ellipse, and also the end point to oh sorry have my cone the R is almost up so we will be continuing the next part of the question after uh, this is over so this is the center line that is there 
okay so we have drawn the initial condition now the observer condition we will draw after the break so i hope to see you back in approximately 10 minutes so we'll solve complete the problem and head on to section of solids